um, so much, everybody, for joining us today. Um, as David said, I'm, I'm Patrick. I'm the president of Blue Marble Geographics, um, and we're very excited to offer our first all-online Blue Marble user conference, a.k.a. the uh, uh, GeoTalks. Um, I want to welcome all of our customers and partners from all corners of the globe. I understand we have hundreds of attendees joining us, so it's sure to be a great event. Um, I want to offer a special word of welcome to those of you who may not be familiar with our company or the products we produce. If you're a prospective user or a new user, then this should be a great introduction uh, to Blue Marble. Um, and so just before you know, we pass the microphone, as it were, over to our first speaker, I want to take a few minutes to introduce our company and our products to to all of you um, and and to refresh those of you uh, that have been longtime customers and users on the things that we've been doing the past uh, couple of years and what we're working on for the future. So um, we've just celebrated our 25th year in business, which is pretty amazing uh, when you think about it as a software company uh, from Maine um, that kind of developed just like a typical software company out of the garage of our founder's uh, house, um, and today we're, we're close to 50 employees, and um, we're just busier than ever, and things have been just, just going great. Last year was a fun year for us. We had a lot of parties and events to recognize that 25 years in business, and um, we're now looking forward to uh, the, what the future holds. Um, Blue Marble is known as because of that, you know, those years in business as a pioneer, a developer of GIS and geodetic applications. Uh, we were founded on software that deals with the hard stuff in mapping, and we've always been comfortable with addressing those challenges. Um, and we're headquartered right here in Hollowell, Maine, which is in the northeast corner of the United States. And um, it's just amazing and extremely satisfying that we have tens of thousands of customers and users in virtually every country in the world, supported by our extensive network of partners and resellers. Um, and if you know Blue Marble, um, you know that we're known uh, for our tagline, mind, mind the gap between the world and map. And what that means is we don't hide from the geodetics or the hardest challenges um, in GIS. And we take a lot of pride in providing software solutions and services that uh, address those challenges on both sides of the coin, as it were, um, in a way that is hopefully makes GIS easy for some users that need it and also opens up the tools for those users that are looking to dive deep and address the challenges head on. So in looking at our, our product suite today as it is, um, you can kind of divide our product suite down two main areas with, with Global Mapper at the, at the head of one side and the Geographic Calculator on the other side. Um, Global Mapper is a suite of GIS tools that really attacks those geospatial challenges in a smart yet easy to use interface. Um, it's, it really is quite easy to get started in Global Mapper with access to tons of online data sources easy tools for editing and manipulating data, and then, of course, the flexibility to share that data in any format you can think of. Um, as far as that challenge, the Global Mapper tools are really unmatched. On the calculator side of the house, we now have all of the former Blue Marble desktop tools available under the one calculator license. So this includes the ability to handle dozens of formats and all types of transformation challenges from, of course, the coordinate side of things to the format side of things. Um, and, of course, we have a suite of SDKs and tools. And on the calculator side, those tools are known as GeoCalc and GeoCore. A little more on, on Global Mapper. Today, Global Mapper is truly a comprehensive and fully functional GIS. Um, sometimes people think when they hear GIS that it must be a massive install and undertaking. 
But really, when you look at Global Mapper, you see that GIS can be easy and powerful at the same time. The software, of course, has particular emphasis on 3D visualization and analysis, but also includes tools for everything from cartographic map publishing to GPS tracking, digitizing, and image analysis. Completely interoperable, supporting over 300 file formats, all common spatial databases and countless online services. Global Mapper was conceived over 20 years ago as a USGS initiated project and over the years it's matured into a major player worldwide in the GIS software market, at least we'd like to think so. Um, and it's used by government agencies worldwide, universities, energy companies, military departments, engineering companies, gaming companies, and countless other businesses and organizations um, the world over. And in fact, our Global Mapper users um, are pretty evenly split between US and Canada and the rest of the world. So it truly is a global footprint. All of this has been accomplished with a commitment to keeping the price uh, affordable and the customer service high. Throughout today's program, we'll be hearing from a variety of users about their experience with Global Mapper. And in, if you enjoy these talks or have a talk that you feel would be of interest to others, we would love to hear from you. And we have a variety of ways of sharing that with our uh, user base from our uh, new, uh, newer uh, newsletter uh, to online uh, webinars like this and case studies and all kinds of different vehicles. Uh, we just released version 20.1 of Global Mapper and some recent updates to that include uh, mesh creation from a point cloud, um, a cool little eyedropper tool for color selection from imagery, and um, something really handy, path profile zooming. Uh, so I, I would encourage you to check out those features. Um, version 20 released last fall and some of the major features inc included 3D model, improved 3D model functionality and new map layout options along with uh, a renewed partnership with Intermap to provide their next map one high resolution terrain data set for the entire world which is available through a paid subscription in Google Mapper. Um, and we certainly um, expanded our free online data sources as well in Global Mapper with that release. And now today, uh, and this came out a couple of years ago, but we have been working on and improving on our, our Global Mapper mobile app. Um, and Global Mapper mobile is a simple data viewer um, and spatial data collector available both for Android and iOS. Um, it's freely available right now. Um, and um, it's a great companion to Global Mapper for going out into the field, um, checking uh, real world data, um, notating data, um, updating uh, vector information. Um, and we do also have, uh, we have been working on a pro version and our first pro version is actually available um, uh, now on, on the iGAP uh, NGA store, which is available for NGA and government users. Um, the Android version was released a couple months ago, and our iOS version should be released very soon. And that has some enhanced features, which I'll talk about in, uh, in a little bit. Um, and um, uh, we, uh, we're working on that pro version, making that available later this spring for our customers. Um, so Global Mapper Mobile is a great tool, and we're very excited about it. Uh, I personally love using it when I when I go hiking uh, around here in Maine and New Hampshire. It's just very easy to add uh, vector trail maps and with the ability to stream online data sources and cache the data. It's it's a great uh, companion tool for hiking. So I really encourage you to check it out. Like I said, it's available right now on the iOS store or the uh, Android uh, Play, Play Store. Play store yeah. Right. Global Mapper LiDAR module, um, and uh, it, it now, as it says, it's available with our Pixels to Points tool, um, which has been out actually for over over a year and a half, I think now. Um, Global Mapper LiDAR module is just an excellent add-on to Global Mapper, providing advanced LiDAR and point cloud uh, functionality. Um, it offers extensive editing, filtering, and data quality control tools for working with point cloud data. Um, at a high level, the tools that are available are 
a variety of automatic classification tools and automatic feature extraction tools. Um, and then it comes uh, with a great set of tools for cleaning up uh, that data manually as well. Um, uh, later, we're going to be hearing from uh, Anthony Beach, as David said, who's going to present on using Global Mapper in combination with the LiDAR module. And I believe we have um, also Daniel uh, Fagerman, who will be talking about how LiDAR USA uses the LiDAR module. Uh, it's, it's really a, a very powerful uh, tool for working with LiDAR data. And the, and the thing about the Global Mapper LiDAR module is not only do we have the tools for automatic classification and manual classification and, and then extracting those point clouds into, you know, vector features, points, lines, um, and of course polygons of various types. It, Global Mapper has, we've been working on for, for years now, the, the power of the application underneath to handle that large data, both in processing the LiDAR data and in viewing it in 3D. And that's no small task. Um, and we have taken on the challenge of, of attacking both the powerful machines with multiple cores and, and the ability to really crank on the data and even just a simple laptop. Uh, and the way we, we go about making sure we do that uh, around our extensive QA and testing is you can visit us at a conference and you'll see us with, with, li with LiDAR data on a laptop processing the data using all of these tools. So it's really important to us that we reach, you know, the basic user and the advanced user in every way that we work with, with Global Mapper. And I think that that's case in point. Uh, pixels to points, we're very excited about how far along that tool has come now for taking drone collected imagery and creating 3D point clouds. And that's the image that we're looking at here from a, um, a place in Brazil, I believe it was a, uh, landfill um, and there's just so many uses for that uh, we're very excited about where we're going with uh, with pixels to points and I'm going to say a little bit more about that in a few moments on to the geographic calculator which should not be forgotten it's the foundation of our company uh, the calculator is still a very powerful tool for working with coordinate transformation challenges the world over uh, calculator gives you the ability to dive deep and to work with any part of a coordinate reference system. As you can see here on the image, we have, we provide you with the coordinate system and the datum, and even if it's time dependent, the epoch uh, or the date. Um, you can dive into the units and the formatting, and of course, if there's a vertical datum, you have the ability to work with that. And, and that's the basis of calculator and what makes it so powerful. All the other tools that come with it for automating those processes, for providing your users of calculator with various levels of, uh, of, of tools. It's, it's just building off of that foundation of diving into what is, um, you know, really the essence of accurate, uh, coordinate transformation. Um, and calculator is recognized for that. Um, later we're going to hear from Dan Martin of NGS, who's going to talk about, um, the new uh, coordinate reference framework that's coming for North America, uh, the 2022 datum and calculator is an essential tool for working with that challenge. Um, not just on a point to point level, of course, there is uh, all the batch tools we have for processing files of uh, uh, coordinate systems and updating your data to that new uh, reference frame, which is going to be essential. Um, so if you haven't looked at calculator in a while, I encourage you to check it out. Um, and get ready for the, the data processing that we're going to have to be doing in a couple of years. Um, and Calculator is, is just a great tool for all those types of challenges anywhere in, in the world. Um, some other key components of Calculator include, of course, that point database tab, that spreadsheet type format uh, 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 tool for working with uh, your coordinate uh, data. We have a great angular unit converter uh, tool that's new. We've been updating our seismic uh, format conversion. So we're always updating that work. Uh, and um, we've got continued enhancements, of course, to the EPSG uh, registry data source. The latest kind of companion to the calculator workflow that um, we've been quietly working on is the GeoCalc Online Geodetic Registry. 
And today, this is uh, you know, a freely available online library of our coordinate uh, object uh, definitions. Um, you can query the tool. You can export definitions to GML. Um, but it is the basis for where we're going with Calculator, providing um, cloud-based uh, solutions for working with uh, Calculator and GeoCalc. Um, and the registry has been a great companion now to a number of our larger customers. Uh, they are taking the registry and uh, we're, uh, we're uh, installing that on their own networks to have their own internal GeoCalc uh, geodetic registry. And um, these tools are allowing uh, for proprietary use and for a lot of control over coordinate transformation challenges for you know, oil and gas companies, mining companies, engineering companies that, that really need this uh, level of accuracy that the GeoCalc and Calculator toolset provide. Um, and so we're very excited about where that's going. So uh, you can go and check out GeoCalc online and, and um, dive deep into um, the, the definitions. And you can, if you want to learn more about how you can have that on your, on your own company, um, just let us know. We'd be happy to talk with you about that. And this is a good segue to talk about our SDK tools or our APIs, our software developer toolkits. Um, Blue Marble is known as a company that, you know, we, we work with our own SDKs and our own applications. And thus we have, uh, you know, tons of uh, software developers around the world using our technology in their own products or projects um, and as you can see both sides of the of the house global mapper and calculator are available as SDKs so anything you see in global mapper is, is usually available in the global mapper SDK we have the global mapper lidar module SDK um, and we have global mapper now as an SDK available for AWS so if you're working with AWS software you can work with the global mapper SDK GeoCalc, of course, is our uh, uh, underneath the hood uh, for calculator, and that's available cross-platform in a variety of uh, uh, ways, including uh, the GeoCalc Web API, which is part of the GeoCalc online registry. And we still do have GeoCore available, which takes GeoCalc and the format translation available in calculator and makes that available for software developers. Um, and of course, we offer professional services. We are uh, software developers ourselves. We can customize any of these tools or products that we have, and we can even do other uh, standard or traditional GIS uh, software development tasks as well. Just reach out to uh, info at Blue Marble Geo for more information on that. Uh, just a word on training and professional services. Um, I think one of the things I take the most pride in uh, over the past few years is the, the level and quality of training and tech support that we now have. Um, David here leading the webinar along with Kat who's pictured here and um, a few others. Uh, Sam Knight uh, for geodetics and calculator training um, and Jeff Hatzel, a uh, newer employee. We really can provide excellent quality, high quality training uh, and support. Um, our training program has just blossomed over the past few years, largely fo focused on Global Mapper, but we've been uh, seeing inquiries now with the, with the new uh, 2022 datum coming for geodesy and calculator training. Um, and um, we, we, are, you know, we encourage you to investigate uh, public training options that are available. I think uh, someone will be talking about that in a little bit. Um, uh, but if you need personal one-on-one -on -one training or you have, uh, you just want to look online and do self-training, that is all available through our website as well. And of course, um, as a software company, we provide tech support, not just for desktop users and not just for how do I use the software, um, but, you know, what's going on with my data. But we also provide tech support for software developers as well. Um, so... Um, Anything that you need in relation to our, our tools or GIS, if you need assistance, let us know. We're happy to help. So uh, in closing, I just wanted to say a word on some of the things that are, uh, that are new and what's coming for Blue Marble. Um, for Global Mapper, um, uh, we're, we're working quietly behind the scenes on a real big uh, uh, feature that I, I, I don't want to just let the cat out of the bag yet, but um, we're working on an entirely new way to share and publish online maps 
that I think everyone's going to be very excited about. Um, we, uh, we're getting close to being able to make an announcement, but you just have to watch uh, for hearing that. But it's, it's really, uh, it's taking it to a new level with Global Mapper. You can, of course, share maps online, but we have a new way that we're working on, and we're very excited to, to provide that uh, information coming up this year. Features for Global Mapper for the release of the major release, version 21, which will, will be uh, in the fall. Um, some of the features we're working on include improved labeling, um, and uh, that's targeting, you know, better cartographic and publishing, of course. Uh, we also are working on a new feature assignment for vector layers that we've uh, been, had uh, on the list for a while and a host of other uh, global mapper updates. Uh, for the LiDAR module, um, we, of course, are focused on keeping pixels to points updated um, and enhanced. And we're going to be adding more uh, uh, tools for feature extraction and um, point cloud uh, dissemination. Um, in particular, it looks like we're working on pull finding as well and some, some other uh, great uh, new LiDAR uh, tools. For Global Mapper Mobile, as I said, a pro version will be coming uh, probably later this spring, and that will feature uh, online data streaming and caching, uh, support for geo package and geospatial PDF formats, and enhanced projection support. And for Calculator, um, we're working on, uh, of course, continued updates to support NADCON uh, 5 for the ongoing support of the NATREF or the North American Terrestrial Reference Frame, aka the new datum 2022. So that mouthful means we're continuing to enhance the tool to get ready for the, the 2022 North American datum. Um, and we're, uh, we're going to be adding ODS spreadsheet format support, uh, new auto detection for deliminators and text files, uh, improvements to uh, batch processing, including area calc jobs will be part of batch process processing, um, and connections to our online geodetic registry. Um, GeoCalc Online, the Ge geodetic registry, uh, we're working on a point-to-point -point calculator tool that will be available to calculator users probably later in the year. That's our deadline. We hope to hit that. Um, that's going to all tie into the calculator desktop, which will be a big uh, feature and enhancement, and there's a lot to do there. So our target is the end of the year. It may kick into 2020, but um, the, the great uh, exciting thing about this is you're talking about an online uh, cloud-based point-to-point uh, -point calculator that should add a lot of field work enhancement for folks and um, a lot of flexibility for our calculator users. We're very excited about uh, our direction for calculator and geocalc. Um, and the geocalc SDK, of course, will be updating uh, transformation methods and projections. Um, we're adding updates for the ISO 19111 uh, spec standard and time-based models, and of course, NOAA B datums, as we always do. We love to add more and more round vertical datums in GeoCalc. Uh, for Global Mapper SDK and Global Mapper LiDAR SDK, basically, whenever you see a new feature come from the desktop of Global Mapper, you can expect that to be available uh, for the SDK, unless it's something just really interface level. Um, and then, of course, um, don't forget that we are always updating the scripting available in Global Mapper. So if you're looking for automated processing from Global Mapper or your data creation company, um, pay attention uh, to our scripting updates and let us know if something's missing. If you, if you want uh, something added to scripting, let us know. Um, so um, that closes my, my portion of the talk. Thank you uh, so much for giving me a moment to talk to everybody. Perfect. Thank you, Patrick. I think Patrick suggested he wasn't going to let the cat out of the bag, but I think he just did. You, you mm -hmm. got a little bit of an insight as to some of the things that we're working on. It's very exciting, and it's an illustration of how our products are continually being developed. Quite a few questions come in. We weren't expecting that from you, Patrick, but there's quite a few questions. Oh, okay. Let's pull out one here. <laughs> Uh, that this question we actually get quite a lot. So we, we you introduced geographic calculator, you introduced Global Mapper. Uh, question is, how do they work together, or do they work together? Uh, thank you, David. I I meant to mention that. So there is a geocalc uh, toolbar available in Global Mapper, and it is a great way uh, if you have a calculator license to add the geocalc data source into Global Mapper, and that of course gives you the ability to uh, select and work with um, horizontal datum uh, transformations. 
Um, you can uh, see those prompted when you bring in data and you can access the datum transformation models from GeoCalc or you can have that happen in the background and set that for your users so they're, they're prompted, uh, they're automatically transforming with GeoCalc. And then, of course, you get access to all that great vertical datum support. I, there's over 50 vertical datums available in GeoCalc, so it's a great enhancement to that 3D data processing that I was talking Perfect. about. Perfect, yeah, yeah. Uh, apologies, sir. I know there's a lot of other questions. We'll try to follow up with these offline. Uh, we're uh, running a little bit out of time here. We'll introduce our first speaker, but uh, thank you very much, Patrick, for, uh, uh, for sharing uh, some of the insights. And hopefully those of you who are new to our company got a little bit of a, an idea as to what, uh, what we're all about.